Hey guys, K27 are back at you with another sourcing video. Today I'm going to show you the uh, sourcing we did in Jacksonville. Me and Leanne, random chick picker, her link will be down below. Went garage selling. We didn't find too much stuff, but I'm going to show you some of the clips from it and come back with a summary. This is one of the first garage sales we hit up that day. I look at these bags. I always like looking at toy bags. This one I saw the Animaniacs in there, and that's why I picked it up. I'll go over in the summary why uh, this actually wasn't a good pickup. But uh, this bag also had a whole bunch of Toy Story stuff in it. I passed on this bag because I didn't see anything that I thought would be worth it. It's just a bunch of like toys and stuff from McDonald's and Burger King and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I did pick up this bag of toys, and hopefully uh, I can make my money back uh, since I didn't actually wind up being able to keep the Animaniac toys. Those are all books on CD. Okay. There's a whole box of them. Yeah, I'm like, I really don't know too, like, that goes with it. Couldn't figure out where it went. Here I'm looking at all these random smalls. None of it really looks worth it to me. I can't even really tell what some of it is from here, looking at it, rewatching re the replay, but uh, it didn't, I think whenever I looked that up, if I even looked it up, it wasn't worth it. So I passed on all those little items. Uh, and one way y'all saw or say those are all books on tape or CD. None of those were worth it, I don't think, at least. Leanne looked at them, at least. <laughs> I didn't look at them. I looked at this just to see. I don't know why I'm looking at glass. Seemed like I bought way too much glass. I think I only bought like three or four items that were glass, but I bought a bunch of glass at, uh, whenever we were out garage sailing. I looked up this filter as well to see if it was worth anything, but uh, I couldn't find it on Amazon. And whenever I looked up the comps on eBay, as I'm kind of showing on my phone, can't really you can't really see it too well, but uh, that wasn't worth it either. What would Kyla say? <laughs> Probably no. No. <laughs> I'm not an expert either, though. Sounds like I hardly ever took it. Did you take three for this? That's actually her, uh, okay. Lorraine? Yes, yeah, yes. If you have twins, yes. Yeah, Sorry, he has a question. Would you take about three for it? Sure. Do okay. you know if there's how many other sales in the neighborhood there are? Oh, uh, it's random. Okay. It's hard to say. Yeah. I think I only got a five. Uh, let me see if I have two. Okay, you said three. Four, three, right? Okay. So I'd get two back. Two back. There you go. Thank you. As y'all saw in that clip, I picked up a bag of toys. It's right here. Uh, I picked it up mainly because the Annie Man Animaniacs that were in there. Unfortunately, those uh, I put in the auction challenge that we did uh, in Jacksonville, and I lost the auction challenge, so I lost those. <laughs> I actually put in a Taz mug, but the auction challenge, other item I had was Animaniacs, and they wound up, I wound up losing those in the auction challenge. But, yeah. You're going to lose my money on this because I don't think anything's really worth it. I haven't gone through it too much, but there was some Hello Kitty stuff, so maybe I'll be able to get something out of the Hello Kitty stuff. But, uh, yeah, overall, that was a loss. Hi, how are y'all doing? Good morning. This is actually the first garage sale I went to that day. I did them out of sequence because I didn't buy anything at this one, but I wanted to show this. This is like a Kayvani meal supplement or weight supplement i'm not sure exactly what it was but uh i'm gonna go over in a second or show you in a second what they wanted for it and i couldn't find anything on ebay or amazon for this so i did pass on it i actually do pick up that flag that leanne's holding right there that harley davidson flag i didn't even see it until the end of the sale when i'd already walked past it a couple times but uh, i did pick that up it's still not listed how much were 10 per 10 each even for the small one? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't really show too much stuff at the other garage sales, but I did pick up a couple items. Didn't find much. This hobnail piece, it's like some kind of glass. It was only a dollar at a yard sale. I didn't film with that one, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that glass piece. Uh, this pair of Lennox salt and pepper shakers. We got both of the, all three of these for $3. I think uh, Leanne actually did the negotiations for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and we went to a thrift store or two. As well, right after that, found this Yankees hat, lights up, and then also found this Squishmallow. Didn't put this in the auction challenge because 
uh, it wouldn't have won in the auction challenge. But uh, yeah, that's it for those. And now to go through the bag of plush that Leanne brought me. I would not define this as huge. <laughs> Quick programming note, I decided to throw in another garage sale before showing you the bag of plush that Leanne got me. <laughs> Phone mount. I bought one on the way here and I can't get it on my van. What's this thing? The Saturday evening post. Uh, uh, always, almost always pass the Norman Rockwell. <laughs> I feel like it's usually not worth it. I think your dumpster dive found made its way here. <laughs> That's a little. I think it's a little projector screen you pull down, like your dumpster dive. That oh, yeah. sign thing you found in the dumpster the other day, yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have a price. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's gonna do some good. <laughs> don't it's in mess holster. With me. Yeah, don't mess with me. Woo, <laughs> pew pew. We'll be back. Take that. Because I was gonna buy it. It's only a dollar. Yeah, I know. Oh. You gave me a dollar already. Mm -hmm. I'll have to put it aside. Mm -hmm. He'll remember eventually. Maybe, maybe not. Well, <laughs> you, can, you can make another dollar. I, I feel obligated to uh, hold on to it for him. Give it a month after that. Sir. Oh, oh, Ma'am, did you leave your phone? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. He's like, yep, I'm used to her losing her phone. <laughs> Funny that conversation happened at the garage sale because I think uh, Leanne lost her phone at least once or twice uh, that fell underneath the seat of the Camaro. So we had to look for her phone at least once or twice uh, while we were out yard selling and once we got back to the uh, Airbnb as well. <laughs> we spent a decent amount of time at this garage sale. Funny enough, uh, this is actually an accidental recording per se. I recorded for 42 minutes accidentally. And uh, this is the clip I chose to use from it because it actually has some interaction between me and Leanne. And my phone has limited storage, so I couldn't put all 42 minutes on my phone and try and edit that. So uh, this is what happens with when you accidentally click the record button and record for 42 minutes instead of uh, instead of just at a sale. But this that little ba ba uh, basket right there had a bunch of pins. I don't think I picked up any, but uh, Leanne got a couple. I don't remember which ones she got, but uh, yeah, we got a decent. We got some stuff out of there, but. Uh, Overall, uh, this wasn't the best garage sale either. I wouldn't know which if they were. <laughs> lead pencils, lead pencils, I guess. I would have maybe an idea. Hand masks. There's one with a gauge, tire gauge on it. I don't think I have one of those. If you ever needed it. What do you wind up getting? Pill holder. Oh, uh, Crown Royal bags? Why do you want this one? Um, actually, I really want, I guess, just this one. I actually, I collect these from the restaurant. I get them for free. Yeah. Uh, you know, they come <laughs> at the bar and yeah. you get the, well, people, I sell them in a lot of them. A whole bunch yeah. of them, people make quilts with them. So, <laughs> it doesn't take much space and they're yeah. free. So, <laughs> once I get them all lotted, Might as well. I get rid of them. These are actually, I think, older because they're felt, felt ones. <laughs> that one's got a stain. Okay. I guess I'll see what we want. I got so many for free, though. Yeah. But I like this little beauty one. I don't have it. this past week. Ah, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Should I get dark, though? It's up to you. A little cute chain. How much is he? And my grandson would actually like that. I don't know how much it is. <laughs> yeah, or this, should I get this for two dollars? Glasses and my gun. <laughs> I'm not leaving without my gun. <laughs> <laughs> my little gun. How much for the other key chain? Darker than I got. Watch my phone. Oh. What? About a dollar. Sound 
fair to you? Here is the bag of plush that Leanne got me. She got me really cool stuff. Thank you, Leanne, so much for bringing these. <laughs> didn't know if I was going to have room for them, but we really didn't find much, so I guess it's a good thing I did. This is a Dan D. Flamingo. Not sure the value of any of these, but I'm just going to go through them and show them. This is a lamb plush. It's like a puppet, so that one might be kind of cool. Uh, need to get a list. It's almost Easter time. Uh, this is Elmo, like a backpack Elmo. Cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss. A little lovey blanket, a monkey. This is a pick me pop turtle. A TY monster plush. Monsta Monstas is what this one is. It's like a Beanie Boo version. This is a build a bear. A rainbow giraffe. A care bear with like broccoli. <laughs> Another lovey blanket with a hippo, it looks like. Uh, for real pets parrot a little Shopkins plush another Elmo this one's pretty heavy uh, Goofy and Donald these two guys right here another lovey pig Mickey to go with Goofy and Donald and a for real pet uh, gerbil hamster guinea pig thing <laughs> Hey guys, so I hit up a thrift store in Pensacola area, found a Biloxi Shuckers hat, and the San Antonio Spurs 2005 championship hat. I believe that says a dollar, that says four dollars. Also in the kids section. And I happened to stumble upon this guy. This is a Puffalo from Fisher Price. The reason I know that is the feeling of it. it feels kind of spandex, or whatever you call it type of material that nylon maybe but there is no tag at all you can't read it but google lens showed that it was this guy right here so worth i think 30 maybe 30 dollars they want three for them i'll pay that maybe they'll charge a little bit less but let's look at the rest of the store some more plush in this section nothing really that great that i can see And then we got some toys over here. Those are McDonald's. Uh, that's some kind of rabbit. Some cars. And some other toys as well. So I'm going to keep looking around in here. There's some DVDs. Books. A little poop guy, poop emoji guy. <laughs> a Nintendo Labo. And just for your information, I don't have much room in my car. So big items are not what I'm looking for. But yeah. I'm going to keep looking around. There's a Minion hat for Victoria. But, yeah, a little fun, little thrift with me while on vacation. So, see what else I can find, and I'll come back with a summary. As y'all saw in that last cup, I got some stuff from Pensacola. Went to a thrift store there. Got this uh, Fisher-Price plush. This thing's really cool. It's one of, like, uh, puff-a-lumps, I guess you can call them. I think it's worth around 30 or 40 bucks, this little frog. My friend uh, Jackie was like, hey, what about this thing? I was like, I don't know about this. I look it up. It's worth, like... 30 or 40 bucks so i think i paid yeah two bucks for it thank you jackie for pointing that one out uh this spurs hat i don't know the value but it only cost a dollar so anytime i can find a spurs hat that's champions from 2005 i'll pick it up and this is the biloxi shuckers i think it's a uh, minor league baseball team anytime i see minor league teams i'm going to pick them up also picked up this little thing for a dollar this is torch the uh blue wahoos mascot from uh pensacola it's another minor league team sticking with the theme so that's it for this video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, not, didn't really have too much footage from the garage sales because there really wasn't much for us to find. But we had fun. Me and Leanne had a lot of fun driving around. We spent uh, like eight or nine hours sourcing that day between going to garage sales and thrift stores. And then we had the auction competition that night. So that was a long day. But uh, yeah, it was a ton of fun. This is the last video from the Jacksonville meetup. A little bit delayed, but hey, I got it out. So uh, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, comment with your favorite item I found and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to Leanne's channel. Her channel will be linked down below and she's going to put out some content soon, hopefully. Thanks for watching.